If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. In our previous lecture, we have seen that how you can find the median of ungrouped data uh, of, uh, in case of odd and even number of observation. Today, we are going to see how you can find the median of group, group data. But group data is further divided into two types, discrete data and continuous data. But today, we will learn how you can find the median of discrete data. So what is discrete data? Discrete data is basically the data in which, as we have already discussed, the data in which we have the countable number of observations or um, uh, you can say that the uh, or you can say that uh, you don't have uh, multiple repetition in the given data or you don't have a very large set of data so when you came across a, a countable or a small set of data you have to uh, uh, use a different approach in making the frequency distribution table we have already learned about that so uh, let's start from the steps uh, that that you have to follow for finding the uh, uh, median of group data of the group data including discrete uh, uh, variable so first of all we have the example we will use an example to understand this uh, method so this is an example where five coins are tossed 12 times and the number of ta tails recorded in the form of frequency distribution table is given as under where where we have got two tails how many times three times four number of tails five times three number of tails two times and one number of tail two times so this is about the frequency distribution of the given uh, of the given um, uh, problem so let's start one by one the the steps uh, step by step method that how you can find the uh, median of th such data in which in which you came across the uh, uh, data that is uh, that is uh, discrete data or you can say a limited number of where the observation is limited or countable or discrete so the step number one is is find cumulative frequency so let's find the cumulative frequency first in the first um, observation we have the cumulative frequency as as it is three as there is no frequency before that then in the next observation we have to add the the previous one with the current one three plus five that is equals to eight then we have to add 2 with 8. 2 plus 8 is equals to 10. And then we have to add 10 plus 2 equals to 12. So this is the cumulative frequency. This is the step number 1. Now the step number 2 is determine median using cumulative frequency. Let's see how. So we have calculated the cumulative frequency. Now how you can find the median using this. So the formula is median is equals to the class containing n by tooth observation. Observation. So this is the formula of the um, uh, of the median. So the median will be. I'll write its uh, mathematical um, uh, symbol. So the class containing n by tooth. So n is what here? N is the total number of. Uh, uh, n is the total frequency here so the total frequency is 5 plus 3 8 9 10 and 12 so it's equals to 12 so the total number of observation hairs are 12 so i have to write as class containing n is 12 so 12 by 2 observation so x tilde is equals to class containing 12 by 2 12 by 2 is 6 now which class contains sixth observation we have to use the cumulative frequency so this class contains the sixth observation as this is the second class because we have the eight and six is less than eight so we have to consider this class and this it means that the six lies in this class so the median of the given data will be four that is four number of tails now, this is how you can find the uh, median of the uh, given data by using the formula Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.